party. Let's start. All right, everything's sold. I see there's only one person on right now. So, hello, everybody. I hope you had a nice weekend. And uh, I had a few people who actually went to the Christmas market, the uh, German Christmas market up in the fairgrounds, and they said it was very nice. The, the $10 to get in, hello, Miss Turner, was worth it. You gotta keep in mind that all the money from that does go to the various, uh, there's a bunch of charities that they give to. It's a total nonprofit event. However, using the fairgrounds, hello, Carrie. Hello, Kathy. Using the fairgrounds, hey, Barbara, is not free. They have to pay to use those grounds for the insurance and everything else. And this year they actually, instead of last year they had not, this year they opened up all the buildings. So from right here, it was a very nice time. A lot of people that went enjoyed it, and the $10 was worth to get in. They enjoyed it as opposed to other Christmas markets. Now, speaking of Christmas markets, my town has theirs this weekend, PACCON. Hi, Barbara. And it is in the Modic Park, which is over by our police station, from 3 to 8 o'clock this Saturday. Uh, the rain date is for the for Sunday, also the same time. So from 6 to 8, they have the tree lighting. Santa will be there uh, with hot cocoa and stuff for the kids. Um, Oh, they actually have a, oh, that's good to know that you can actually park down at the DPW lot and uh, they have a little shuttle bus going back and forth, but it's actually not a bad walk. And there'll be food vendors and trucks, crafters and artisans, vendors, local businesses. It's a nice time. We went a couple years ago um, and we had a nice little time. So that's this Saturday at Modic Park from three to eight is our Hipakong holiday market in the park. It's a very pretty little park and you can see the lake over there. So... Let's get started. I see I have a few of you. We have a nice eclectic mix. Um, I do just want to point out, and I'm just going to kind of put this up on there. Um, though you might be the first to show, hey, Miss Merciel, as commenting on your end and you hit enter, it doesn't mean that it's come through the Ethernet yet. So we, we that's why we kind we rely on everybody to kind of look and see how it appears on their screen. So if I hit enter right now, it doesn't mean it's appearing to all of you right away. So we go by that. So whoever claims it first according to what everybody confirms and what it actually reaches here. There is lag through various internet, Facebook itself, um, whichever internet you're using might have some issues as well. So hey Kathy. And so with that we're going to get started. Just remember say sold and you have to specify which item. So just make sure you put the item number in there. And if you're watching this afterwards, please just let me know. Um, I usually tell the vendor's name so you can just say, um, you know, from what, because I have a lot of people that watch this on YouTube later on that will purchase, just say which vendor code it is so I can remember to pull up the item. So a little different back here. Don worked very diligently this weekend to make this much easier for us to flow. I'm going to start with, I thought this was really cool. This is from our CJ Spines. It's patio sliced fruitcake tin. It's got a nice size to it. It's got great colors. It's just $4. The cover on it is from Old New Orleans. It looks like a watercolor, but it's not. It's a tin, and it is got a good size to it. It's almost 10 inches in diameter, and this is when fruitcakes, when you could actually understand the ingredients. Uh, candy, pineapple, cherries. Now, my favorite part, everything else I could read was rum and brandy. So, nice vintage little tin for just $4 from CJ's Finds, and that was patio fruitcake. And no, it's not in there still because I know a lot of people don't always eat those and they end up being uh, door uh, doorstops. So that one is not. This is from Vin uh, Vintage Crush. This is one of those little, you get these out in Pennsylvania, a little hex sign. It's a vintage one, $4.80. It is 10 inches. It does have a little bit of vintage wear to it as normal with older pieces. It's like that corrugated piece there. And it's got very, very, very vibrant, bright colors and it has a little hook to hang it. And that's just 480 from our Vintage Crush. Also, for, I got, I grabbed these things from inside the case room. This is from our vendor, Betty's Treasures. I don't know how old these are. They are made in the USA and they are glass Christmas ornaments, four for four dollars and they are little reindeers and they were made in, it says, well these say they were made in the USA but apparently Krebs Glass was based out of Germany. It does have a uh, internet address on it. So they're not super old, but they just look old and they are glass and they're just $4 and they come in the nice little box. So you don't have to worry about putting those away and wrapping them up. Also from our Betty's Treasures. This is, in a, this is the Spode Christmas tree. 2019 annual collection. It has this really pretty border on it. And this is 1440. 
Now, like I said, this is spode. So their usual spode is this Christmas tree. And usually it doesn't have such a nice decorative border. This one happens to have that pretty border. What a nice gift this would make with a couple of your homemade cookies or even your store-bought ones that you call homemade. $14.40 for the piece of spode. Okay. From our vendor, Auntie's Attic. I found this has a couple little cosmetic issues. You can probably just use that little colored uh, pen that you have for wood. This is a pretty jewelry box. And it has a full mirror in it. And it is $24. Has this pretty pattern on the top. And it is three inches tall by eight and a half by nine and a quarter. You got it, Miss Merciel. I have Miss Merceal for the box. Ooh. Actually, I have a new pen tonight. I can actually write. Okay. I'm just going to put this up in the shelf that I just got. Okay. From our vendor, Lazy Q Ranch. And this is just, oh goodness, I can't do that in my head. $10.40. Hello, Missy Bo, Dina. It's a light up. As you can see, it has the little lights in it. It's a vintage style mercury glass Christmas tree for $10.40. That is glass. It has the has a battery switch on and off on the bottom. If you don't want to have the lights on it, you can just leave it as the mercury glass. And that's just $10.40 for the vintage style mercury glass Christmas tree that does actually light up as well. So that's pretty cool. It's got this fancy little bottom here. Kind of looks like a lamp base. Oops, I left the lights on. This is not Motel 6. I don't want to leave the lights on. All right. Ah, all right. You got it. I've got the tree for Missy Bo, Dina. Tree for you. It's a nice one. There we go. All right. Now, ooh, what did I grab? Where did I put? Oh, here it is. Okay. This is from our vendor, the Hip Chick. It's a 1970s, early 80s. Little Bisque Bell by Jasco, and she's got the, it's a shepherd with the lamb, and you can see the pretty little face there, and it's got the little lamb, it's a bisque finish with cobalt accents, and that is $4.90 for the cute, little, even her little toes are sticking out, for the cute shepherdess bell, and that is from the hip chick. Now I've got, at one time these were sold as a set, no longer, they're breaking up the bands. I have Mice, uh, home co mice, Christmas mice. They are four ninety each. I have this cute. They look like five a little bit in the face. He's got the little yellow Christmas sack. I've got this one that's pointing at the Christmas tree, and I have one that is holding a couple of presents. Now you have choice of any of these. Are just four ninety each for the home co vintage Christmas mice. Now I grabbed from the stage. Oops, there's two things on there. Now this is going to be a fun one. From Redreamable, nice brass cherub bell. It's got some good weight, just $4.80. And you can see it's got the little wings in that. And that is brass. It's got a nice sound to it. And that's just $4.80 for the cherub bell from Redreamable. Now it was sitting on top of, which I almost grabbed both things at once. Not old, but it's heavy resin and it looks like it's it's got like um, metal on it, but it's not. It is all resin. It's a pretty interesting candle holder for $12. You got it, Carrie. I've got the bell for Carrie. And it's just like a, can, you know, one of these kind of candles, the uh, 
flat bottom ones there. But it's pretty. It's like this burgundy color. It looks like it's marble. It's just got a really nice finish to it. And that's just $12 for that interesting candle holder. Yeah, it's got a nice sound to it. Something, something. And it seems that people always have to find the ones that don't sound so nice and they just keep walking around the shop and ringing them. This one's nice. Now, if you haven't already and you and you ha uh, did not watch last night, I did post a new video on our YouTube channel. It's about a half an hour. It's a tour of our vendor, Jazzy Junk. So a couple of, we already have a bunch of stuff shipping down to one of our regulars. Uh, make sure if, if you didn't uh, get a chance to watch that, watch that. It's only a half an hour. You can pull it up on your TV if you got a smart TV and just put in Gray Barney Antiques and you'll see we have our videos up there. And you can just watch those from the comfort of your home. If you can, you know, pause it and do a screenshot with your phone or whatever. If you see something you want and just direct message me that, that would be for the best. This is a great deal. This is also from our vendor, Lazy Q Ranch. And this one's got a little loose peg up here. But they're little peg hooks, advent calendar, shape of a snowman's hat. It is wood. And what I like about this is there's no pieces to lose. You just have your wreath. And you put it on the number of days left till Christmas, the little advent calendar, and you just move this along. Nothing else to pack up. You just put this away till next year. And it's just $4.80 for the snowman hat advent calendar with the wreath on the little string there. Nice and easy. Won't get lost. Now I grabbed this. Um, not really an easy shippable item. This is brand new. This vendor this month is 50% off. I don't know if she will be continuing that in January. So anything purchased from her booth needs to be paid for this month. This is a brand new in the box, full size wind chime, uh, 39 inches by five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And it is just from Garden Treasures, $9 for the brand new in box. I really don't want to take it out. What you see is what you get. You can see it has not been removed from the box. $9, wrap it up, give it as a Christmas gift. They'll never know where you got it, what you paid for it. Because you know these go for a lot more in the store. And this guy is just $9 for the brand new wind chime. And it has a, a little butterfly bottom on that. Now we do have a few wreaths in here. I grabbed one of the smaller ones because they are quite large. Some of the ones in here, this one is... From our vendor, the hip chick, it has those, uh, the berry garland going around it, and it is $12.60. It has these little primitive stars on it, and like the great wreath kind of thing here. A couple of the little berries, they're like this styrofoam thing, are broken, so you can either hit them with like a red, you got it, Miss Petrie. Oh, wait, I got Charlene for the wind chimes. If everybody can just confirm with me, please. Charlene for the wind chimes. Just need a little confirmation there. I have Charlene and then I have Laura right after it. So people can just confirm who they see first. All right, so we got Charlene first for the wind chime. So Charlene, you get those wind chimes. And we have this nice little, little uh, berry wreath for 1260. Like I said, just hit it with like a little red marker if you see any ones that crack. They do get, I find these things all over and you step on them and they, they scare the heck out of me. I never know what I'm stepping on. Oh, I think one just rolled onto the floor, so I'll find that and think that I killed something again. All right, now I had that sitting inside of. Needs a little bit of a wipe down because it, it looks like it's been out at the nightclub. It's got a lot of glitter in it. It has Christmas ornaments in it. This nice plain wood Primitive bowl, 12 and a half inch diameter for $28 from Pickin' Wildflowers. We can tell it's hand turned because it's not, the hand turned ones are never a perfect circle or oval. They always have a kind of a little bit of a, a little bit off like we, like I am. Um, but there's no finish on this one. So if you wanted to, you absolutely can use this. I do suggest scrubbing the heck out of it to get this glitter out of it. And then you just use your food safe oil to season that up and you can absolutely use that bowl your hemp oils or your whatever kind of oils you use on that. So, glitter, you are my enemy. Okay, I found this over in our uh, auntie's attic. 
It's American Family Scale. It's in really nice shape. And that is $22.40 for the white scale. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. Yes. So these work great for even for checking your packages and stuff. If you don't want to get a scale for, you know, digital scale, this, these come very, very close. You just really super easy to, to reset it there to make sure that it's set at zero before you put whatever you want on there. And this one goes up to waist pounds. 25. Wow, this sucker holds 25 pounds. So you actually could use this one if you need to weigh like a, a, a smaller suitcase to see how it's going to be on the airplane if it's less than 25 pounds. This puppy will, will weigh that out for you. So we actually had somebody call a couple months a couple months ago. She bought one of our giant scales because she needed it just for that reason to make sure she wasn't going to go overboard. Now get your, your sold ready because I have here from this just, just brought in from Andover Junction. We have another one in here for more money, and it's actually got a break on his pipe. The vintage plastic Frosty the Snowman candy holder for $15.20 with the pipe fully intact. Now you'll see there's some yellowing from the, the glue. That is normal. But to find these with the pipe intact is not easy. I have one at home. He's a little bit bigger. His pipe is not intact. And he is just $15.20 from the 1950s. It still has the old person's name on it. There is no maker's mark on it. You've got it, Mr. Bra. Like I said, getting these guys with the pipes intact is not an easy thing. Okay. Now this is from the case. This is a very unusual, and I had to look up exactly what this is, this is called a Betty lamp. And this is an antique Betty lamp. They're either, they're usually German, Austrian, or Hungarian origin, and they came into use in the 18th century. Now this one's not from the 18th century, but it is, got does have some age to it. I don't have the, I don't know if it had a topper on it. So you will see inside of this, and over here is the fabric. It's um, the internal wick to eliminate fuel from dripping. So you would put in your oil in here, and they usually use uh, oil or grease, and it's called the internal wick, and this is a Betty lamp, and it would hang like this, and you'd have your little bit of flames coming out here and from the inside, and these are still used today, and they use either olive oil or vegetable oil. Now, I don't know if this one works, and this is just $20 for this antique Betty lamp. So I found all that out on uh, Wikipedia. It came right up, and they're very interesting, and from what I've seen online, this is a very good price. So, very unusual brass Betty lamp, still has the chain on it, so you would just hang this up and you'd have your internal wick system so it did not drip the oil around. Now, while I was in their case, and this needs a little bit of a cleaning, it's very cool though, it's from uh, Russia, I don't know if it's with love, but it's a little blue and white. Now, a lot of people, as soon as they see blue and white, they always say Delft. No, Delft is a region in Holland, and that's what that means. So if you see Delft underneath something, it's, it's made in this section of um, Holland, just like Murano, just means it's a section of uh, Italy where the glass is made. It's not a, fa there's not a Murano factory, it's the area, and they have various, uh, you have all these artisans that are, are doing that. So this is a blue and white, it is $24. Just want you to be able to see the stamp on that. It's very cool. It's all one piece. It does need a little bit of a cleaning. And that is porcelain. A little doggy there. Just very sweet little sleigh ride there. I like that the horses' heads are all going in different directions. Now this has recently been marked down. This is from Vintage Crush. I found this in her booth. A lot of little air bubbles in this. 1970, it's this pretty aquaish blue bottle for 640, 1970 anniversary Plymouth Landing ice blue bottle, and that is just 640. So you have the Pilgrim Landing, rough pontiff on the bottom, and you do see little air bubbles in it. This is hand blown, just a beautiful color on that. And that's just $6.40 for that gorgeous colored anniversary bottle from 1970. Now, 
Now also from Andover Junction, I have this little wood snowman. He does have a slight little crack in him here because he, he's all one piece wood. He's made in, uh, he's dated 1999, made in China. And he is just $4 for the cute little Merry Christmas wood snowman. He's got a little Christmas tree here and a little fencing. You got it, Miss Walter. I've got him for the bottle. And we have this cute little snowman again. He's from 1999, does have a little crack here. He's just $4. Him for the bottle. All right, we just got this vendor to mark this down a little bit recently. This is a vintage industrial ceramic pottery glove, glove uh, mold. It's a Baxter Large, is $24. Now I've seen these before, that this one's a nice, unusual large one. So this would have had the mold. This is the mold to make. This is out of, I want to say Trenton, New Jersey, it looks like down here. I can't quite make that out. Baxter Large. December 4th, 1990. Um, I cannot, I, I mean, I'm imagining it is an old one. I know it's some of the stuff they've been doing reproductions on, but usually they're not going into all this detail with the lettering, and I don't think they'd be allowed to put that Trenton, New Jersey stamp on that. So you need an extra hand with the holidays, and that was just $24 for the large Baxter pottery glove hand. They're very popular in vignettes. I see a lot of people that do all those fun vignettes on Pinterest and Instagram. A lot of them have those little ceramic hands in them. It's a popular little item. This is from our vendor, The Looking Glass. This is firm. It's the Spode Christmas tree pin, and that is $5.50. And that was the original MSRP. It was $10 for the cheer pin. It's not been filled in, so you can absolutely... Again, use this as a cute little gift, and that one is just 550 firm. You can see where you can write in the to and the from, and it does have the information on the back of that, and that's just 550 from the looking glass. Also from the looking glass, I just want to make sure there's no issues with this. She is, like I said, this month 50%. I don't know what she's doing next month. So this Avon Ruby Red Hate Cod Butter Dish is now. Oops, if I do the math right. $16.50 for the cranberry glass. This is Avon Cape Cod, they called this one. And there's a whole bunch of pieces that go with this set. Here we just have the butter dish. We have sold the whole set basically to, a couple years ago when we were across the street. So this is the butter dish right now. It's just $16.50. Next month, you got it, Charlene. And like I said, I don't know what she's going to do next month. Is twenty dollars from our vendor good to go let me just give you a little like there for that so no parking fire department only sign for twenty dollars I don't know where he got it it was used at a fire department I don't know which one and that's just twenty dollars this is great for somebody if you're a firefighter somebody who collects signs for their room got a kid going away to college they love having these in their room or even in their room at home now or the man cave these are awesome and it's just twenty dollars no parking, fire department sign, and that is good to go. Like I said, I'm just reiterating who the stuff is from in case I get messages later. Now this puppy here is old. It has a lot of age to it. I cannot ship this. And like I said, this has some serious weight. It's got some serious age to it. You can see it's got putty in there. This really old bench for $20 from our vendor, Burning Sensation Antiques. This is an old footstool it has it is heavy I'm not gonna kid you on that it does have this really cool they use putty to put it back together kind of thing whatever cement or glue they used in there has the original finish on it it is 18 inches 
by almost 11 inches and the height on it is 11 and a quarter on it so yeah it is really nice it is a nice old piece a um, couple little cracks starting on the ends but they're not going to go anywhere I mean you can see how thick that wood slab is and that's just twenty dollars for this truly primitive antique footstool there's no way you put it your animals aren't going to knock that puppy down all right let me put these things over here so I'm not tripping on them I got everything from over here all right I got this out of our vendor redreamable it is an amethyst glass it has a rough poncil hand painted ruffled vase for $20 and that is amethyst glass as you can see it's not flash we don't have a signature or any mark on it we just have the rough poncil on the bottom of that and that is $20 from redreamable again if you're re-watching this please just make sure you say you know if you want that vase you say amethyst vase from redreamable so I know which item also from redreamable is this darling little porcelain teapot. It is marked Blue Wares of England, Staffordshire Fine Bone China. It's a mini and it is just $4.80. And you could actually, I don't know how much you're gonna get in there, but if you want to have yourself a little tea party, you can actually put a little tea in there. And it's got cute little roses on it. You got it, Carrie. Yeah, that's a nice one. I'm just gonna put this piece of t painter's tape so we don't lose that lid. That's a good little deal on that one. That's just so cute. Look how you go. Okay. Now I did not see the little chip on this until I brought it up. It has a tiny chip on the rim that you do not see when you put the hen back on his base. This is from our vendor CJ's Fine and it's 1440. It's the amber nesting hen and he's the larger one. And I'm going to come around and just show you where the chip is. Like I said, as soon as he's nestled into the bottom of her, when she's nestled into the bottom of her nest there, you don't see it. And it's really hard to find. See, it's See, it's right there. Ooh, I just had it focused. There it is. So you can see that tiny little flea bite right there. And like I said, once you put it into the nest, you don't even notice it unless you're looking for it. So you just turn it this way in case somebody is looking. And he's just $14.40 for the amber larger nesting hen. And I grabbed these from our vendor, the hip chick. They are Coca-Cola glasses from different years. I don't have the year on this one. This one's three of three series too. This is a different series. And then this one was also another series. And for the pair of the Coca-Cola glasses, it's for both, it's $7. So $3.50 for the Santa Claus Christmas glasses. As you can see, they have slightly, they slightly, no, the different shapes are the same, but they're just, they're both from different series. But it's just $3.50 a glass. It's $7 for the pair. Now this thing is just adorable. You got it, Nina. I got Missy Bow for the glasses. Now this next thing coming up is really cute. It is from our vendor. Oh my not. The berries got me again. Damn berries. Okay. Ah! Now the berries are attacking me from over there. I'm gonna put the berries over here. And don't do all these berry wreaths. Now the next item is up is from our Lazy Q Ranch, and it's really cute. It is plastic, but it looks like glass. It's a little chandelier, and it's plastic. It's a little uh, like ornament. It's three dollars, and you would just put your little tea light in there. You can get one of those ones that's all the different colors if you wanted to, or you don't even have to put anything in it if you're just like hanging it. I just think it's really cute and it's just three dollars it is plastic but it doesn't look like it so you don't have to use it as an ornament it's the kind of thing you can hang up all the time you can see it's got the little crystals dangling so i'll get this for my placeholder at home until we can get the nice big one you got it jenna 
tonight. We have Jenna for the new chandelier. And if you have a really fancy dollhouse, that would be like, oh. That would be a big dollhouse, though. This is a nice primitive scoop from Jazzy Junk. It is $5.20. It has a little bit of chipping to the paint. This is that classic uh, farm hat, that blue, the colonial blue that they use down at like Williamsburg and everything. And it does have a little spot here to hang it from. And you just lay it flat. It's just a very cute little scoop. You can put it like this. You can put stuff in it, letter holder, whatever. And that's just $5.20 for the primitive scoop from our vendor, Jazzy Junk. Now this is a super lightweight wicker rug beater for just $4. It's got a pretty little pattern on it, it's just four bucks. These always look cute hanging around just anywhere. And that's just $4 for the nice old Betty lamp up close. Sure, I can do that. So it has like this swan bit here, and you can see it still has the original cotton wick in it. This does turn a little bit, but it's not coming off. Rug? What rug? Rug. So, and I don't have a maker's mark on it. Oh, rug beater. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Like I said, I don't think this is soldered on. So, and that is $20. And that's from our lamp specialist, Burning Sensation Antiques. So, and it does have the original chain and everything on that. So, uh, you want to take a couple of minutes, I go run over it. That is a wick. Look at that, actually. So this whole piece here is the wick, and then it comes up to these little cotton pieces. You got it. I mean, this is just such an unusual thing. That's why I pulled it tonight. True antique. Uh, like I said, there, I found the information right on Wikipedia, that little bit of information that I provided before. And from what I've seen on, uh, from what they sold for online, this is a very good deal. that and then I have Charlene for the rug beater. There it is. Alrighty. Alright. We're caught up with everybody again. But I do love this thing. grabbed a couple of little guys from the back that I thought were just too cute and were priced well. Now this is signed Ski, 1998. I'm going to walk around. This is $4 for this snowman. He's like some kind of plastery. Oops. What was fell off? He just lost his tree. I got to glue that back on there. His tree is kind of a little loose. So he has this little bottle brush tree. A little primitive snowman. And he is just got a little bottle brush tree. And that is made in 19, it's signed by Ski. And he has four dollars. What did I do with the other little guy that, oh, yeah, here he is. So this guy, he's very, he's just a dollar. He's got, he's a mouse and he's gold. And he looks like he's been made out of a pine cone, including his little ears. So you can just see how cute. And he's holding that. He's just a little ornament for one dollar. With a little cute mouse pine cone ornament. Holding a little Christmas tree. That's very cute.
You got it, Douglas. Nancy. I just know it's a Brazilian. <laughs> This just came in recently. I have this. I have Douglas Brazilier first for the mess. This just came in as a beautiful watercolor. It's 10 by 13, signed $12. It's got an old wood backer on it. It looks like Van Doren, which makes a lot of sense around here. The uh, Hudson area in that was settled by a lot of the, the ducks. So we have a lot of vans around here, so you can see. Just beautiful. And the frame has got some serious age to it as well. I can't tell, yes. So this looks like it was painted on paper and then it just has this wood backer. And that is just $12 for that stunning little watercolor. It has some serious age to it. Very pretty. these two things because I got everything else behind it. These are from our vendor picking wildflowers and it's a pair it is for both and it is 960. One has a small chip. Let's see. Let me try to find the chip. They're milk glass little lattice and people like to put little different colored ribbons through here depending on the season. I'm trying to find the chip. No, that's not a chip. That's a crack in a repair. Never mind. That is more than a chip. It goes all the way through. So we're just going to pull these off. That goes beyond being a chip. So, All right. We just have a couple more things, folks, and then we're going to wrap it up. This just came in. It is a Lucent Melmac Melamine Dinnerware Platter. It is $14.40. It, it has some use to it. You can see there are some scratches on it. It has these white flower, uh, white birds and trees in it. It is like this aqua color. You can see how that is. And Melmac is like boutonwear. It's that plastic. It is not necessarily the planet where Alf came from. That is 15 by 12 inches on the Melmac platter. And that's $14.40 from our vendor on Second Thought. And our last item of the night also comes from on Second Thought. Now she makes these. There's Lazy Susans. This one has the, this is like the kitchen motif. It's painted gray and it has the, all your different measurements on it. And that is $32 for the Lazy Susan. It is sealed and these are, she does sell quite a bit of these. The diameter on that is 15 inches on this one. So and that is from On Second Thought. It is a wood Lazy Susan, which she paints and does these transfers on and then seals it. So let me make sure I didn't stick anything else anywhere else. Looks like I am actually good for tonight. I didn't hang anything or anything. So that is going to do it for tonight. Uh, I don't think we're doing one this month just because it's Christmas and we want to go out and do a couple of things this month. Um, I will continue to do my weekly ones and don't forget to watch our in January, most likely. Don't forget to go hop on over to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can sit, like I said, and that has a lot of stuff and it'll be, and it doesn't have to be just what you see, like in the, like if I go past something and you want more information on that, do not hesitate to ask. I have quite a few people that shop us just from the YouTube videos now, just because I'll spend like all that time in the one booth. So, and I'll be getting some more vignettes and stuff up. I've been doing a lot of booth shots. You just kind of on your phone, do the, and expand it so you can see a little more detail. Do not hesitate to ask me about any of the items that you see in that. So I will see you guys here next Wednesday night on Facebook Live if I don't see you in the shop or in our direct messages. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Good night.